Trees were uprooted, split in half, and some houses were completely destroyed. People like Marla McGowan tell me she's horrified with the damage the tornado brought. The sirens were going off, warnings were everywhere. We lost power for a brief moment. Uh, the lights were flickering. Emergency crews tell me base facilities, several vehicles, and a residential neighborhood had the most damage. This neighborhood had about 75 homes and housed many of the younger officers and families. Emergency crews tell me most of the residents living there were on leave for the holidays, but there were still a couple hundred that were there when the tornado rolled through, and luckily only four were injured. Some of the electric power went down, but the MP station was still up, so they had all their radios. We also have handheld Motorola's, and many of the cell phones actually still worked, although we lost power to some of our big facilities. We were never out of communication, so Fort Leonard would always have communication. Emergency crews say everything they needed to do to start clearing the area happened, and everyone who was displaced will have a place to sleep tonight. And for people like McGowan, she hopes everything turns out for the best. Uh, we just pray that um, all the people that are, um, you know, misplaced right now.